in this uh, presentation we will be dealing about the concept of normal distribution uh, what is an empirical rule in statistics understanding about an empirical rule how or when to use an empirical rule in statistics benefits of an empirical rule and application of an empirical rule so coming to the next slide we are all aware about normal distribution uh, we have covered this topic in our qt also normal distribution is also known as gaussian distribution or normal probability distribution which is extremely useful in analysis of data concerning about economic and business platforms uh, so in our qt classes also we have come across normal distribution we have uh, plotted the graph normal curve of uh, bell shaped graph graph of normal distribution also so i'm so I hope that normal distribution is very much clear to us. Key takeaways, normal uh, means the characteristics of a normal distribution. For a normal distribution, the mean, median, and mode are equal and are located at the center of the graph. Normal distribution curve is symmetric and they are bell-shaped. And exactly half of the data values are less than the mean and half of the data are greater than the mean. So this is the graphical re pictorial representation of a normal curve. Here we can see the mean, median, and mode are at the center, and they are equal. They are of equal values. And towards the right, it is having positive values, and towards the left, it is having the negative values. Next slide. We could see uh, what is an empirical rule in statistics. So the word empirical rule comes from empirical research. Empirical research basically deals with the observations and measurements of real-world outcomes rather than the theory. Empirical research is mostly based on theories and not the mostly based on practical aspects and not the theories. Empirical uh, means empirical means it is grounded in the practical reality. Uh, empirical rule uh, takes the recorded outcomes and they will be using it for the uh, forecasting of our data and to calculate our for probabilities. So. Empirical rule means it is uh, empirical rule in statistics is also known as 68 rule. It states that if a, a data is normally distributed, if and only if the data is normally distributed, then 68 percentage of the observed data point will lie inside one standard deviation of the mean, and 95 percentage of the data will lie within two standard deviation of the mean. And finally, 99.7 percentage of the data uh, will fall within three standard deviation of the mean. This I will be clearly explaining in uh, in a picture in a graphical presentation. Uh, empirical rule is also called as three sigma rule. It is also called as three sigma rule because all the observation occurs within three standard deviation. That is the 68, 95, and 99.7 uh, percentage. Understand the empirical rule. After calculating the standard deviation, we we'll, uh, we all know about standard deviation and mean. It is uh, this concept is covered under descriptive statistics, standard deviation and uh, mean. Uh, and before collecting the exact data, we can use this empirical rule for uh, making a rough estimate of outcomes of the intending data that we have to uh, analyze and collect. Empirical rule can be often used for uh, forecasting of the final outcome. It can be used as a rough way to test the distributed normality. If you have to, if you wanted to test the normality of a distribution, we can use this empirical rule. If too many data points fall outside the standard deviation boundary, this suggests that the distribution is not normal and many may be skewed or follow some other distribution. If too many data are there uh, and it is outside the 99 sigma rule, 3 sigma rule, then we have to use this. Uh, we, we, can, we have to opt for another rule. So this is the uh, graphical representation of the 3 sigma rule where we can see uh, mu plus mu in the center, that is mean in, at the center of the graph. And towards the right, we can see mu plus standard deviation, that is mean plus standard deviation, mean plus 2 standard deviation and mean plus 3 standard deviation towards the left we can see uh, mu minus standard deviation mu plus two minus two standard deviation and mu minus three standard deviation so uh, at the uh, you could see uh, how much does the 68 percentage covers and how much the 95 percentage cover and how much the 99.7 percentage covers it will be clear when we are uh, using that in, in the practical sense how are this empirical rule used the empirical rule is applied to anticipate the probable outcomes in a normal distribution. Empirical rule can only be used in terms of normal distribution. 
these statistician would use it to estimate the percentage of cases that fall in each standard deviation so this is an example for uh, calculating the empirical rule consider the standard deviation as 1.1 and the mean as 9.5 so if you are applying in this uh, 9 point uh, we will be having the normal distribution we have the uh, sigma as uh, 1.1 and we are having the mu as uh, 9.5 if you are substituting this, we will be getting the point values here and we could analyze how much percentage does each unit cover. So this is how we calculate our empirical, uh, how we calculate the data with the help of empirical rule. Just we have to apply, uh, substitute these values and we, we can get the answers. So in the next slide that I have given another practical problem where uh, the starting salary for a graduate is bell shaped, means it is a normal distribution curve. And we are having a mean of rupees 25,400 and a standard deviation of 1,300. Uh, in this question, we have to calculate the percentage. Uh, what percentage of graduates have started starting salary between 28? So here, uh, the, we are considering a normal distribution, a bell-shaped curve, where uh, the mean is 25,400. The standard deviation is 1,300. So we have to calculate uh, mu plus standard deviation towards the right. We'll get the answer. Mu plus standard deviation means 25,500 plus 1,300, and mu minus standard deviation. We uh, we have to deduct those from that. Then the next is we have to see in which type of in which data it will be. Uh, we will get the correct answer. So if we are calculating mu plus two standard deviation, we'll get the correct answer. So our uh, uh, finding is that the empirical rule says that. About 95% uh, of the data lies between two standard deviation of the mean. This is how we uh, do this problem using empirical rule. It is a very easy rule uh, and we could use the uh, formula for doing that. This is about the benefit of an empirical rule. The empirical rule is beneficial because it usually helps us in forecasting uh, by the means of using mean and standard. If only using the two variables mean and standard deviation, we can uh, find out the uh, we can find out or we can forecast for the future it is useful to determine outcome when not the data is available at the data set is large data unknown angle or any data set to large angle empirical rule number applies here it has the statisticians or those studying the data to gain insight into where the data will fall once it is all available we can identify where this data set is falling on where to uh, where these points are lying which person how much percentage does it cover it will be very clear if you are using empirical rule it is a quick and an easy method which provides good prediction next is the application of uh, empirical rule in the professional field uh, where can we use this empirical rule uh, in finance and accounting of financial analysts may use for use it for creating forecasts they can uh, uh, look into the past history financial history and use some statistical rules for forecasting in the future in marketing analytics uh, they can use this empirical rule for campaigns by using by analyzing the cons consumer data to predict the future trends and they'll be helping it for their uh, selling purposes and all in healthcare clinical analysts also uses empirical probability uh, for healthcare professional profession for finding out new medications or treatment methods they could use this empirical rule in education also they could use this empirical rule for uh, future assessment or comparison of their uh, learning outcomes student learning outcomes in technology driven field also uh, one can use an analyst can use this empirical rule uh, because in computer science and all many development and coming if you are using this simple rule we could uh, draw a final conclusion or we can draw uh, a forecast or we can make a testing uh, computer programs or building software with the help of this empirical rule so this is all about the empirical rule in statistics we have discussed about the uh, three sigma rule uh, with the problems and all and we have looked into the application of this three sigma rule and the benefit of this three sigma rule these are the references where you can uh, see this empirical rule and this is all about my presentation thank you